Hello and welcome everybody to another uh, walkthrough of a My Maths task. This is uh, 380 relative frequency. Now, relative frequency is very similar to probability. Um, it's a probability of something happening after a number of experiments have uh, taken place. Um, we use it to test uh, whether things are fair, whether things are faulty. It's used in um, real world scenarios, uh, manufacturing uh, the world, um, all sorts of different places. Uh, so here we go, scenario one, we've got this spinner and we're going to spin it around and what we would expect is we would expect each um, number to have the same probability and come out the same number of times over a given number of um, experiments. Uh, if we look at our frequency table we can see there's 52 uh, ones, 52 twos, that sounds about right, 46 there, that sounds right, that sounds right, that sounds, this one's a bit weird. So why is it um, nearly four times more likely to get a six than any other number? Uh, we don't know, so I would say from the bat, this is not a fair spinner, there's something going wrong with number 6. So is it fair? I'm going to go with no straight away for that one. <coughs> okay. Now, uh, the relative frequency, all you do to work with the relative frequency is first of all figure out how many experiments you've got all together. And for that, we're going to use a calculator. So turn us on, and then I've got 52 plus the 51 plus the 46 plus the 50 plus the 53, plus the 198, uh, plus 53, plus 49. Um, so what I can see straight away is there's 552 altogether experiments. Um, so now, uh, that's how many times it was spun, uh, if to get those results. Uh, the relative frequency you get in a 2 is 51 out of those 552. So if I just, just do that on the calculator, it's 51 out of the 552. Uh, which turns out to be 17 over 184. So 17 over 184. Now, uh, for most probability questions, I would normally just go with uh, the fact that this relative frequency, if we're getting a 2, is 51 out of 552. But you've got to be careful with my maths because it often uh, wants you to cancel things down. Uh, you don't always have to cancel things down in probability, uh, but my maths often want it in a particular format. So I would just do that on the calculator and see what comes out. Um, next question. So I've got a tetrahedral dice. Uh, die is uh, just one dice. Uh, it's got the numbers 1 to 4 on it, and we spin it. Uh, we've got 100 there, 95 there, 103 there. Sounds good to me. 202, hang on a minute. Why is the number 4 twice as likely as everything else? So is it fair? I'm going to go with no if I was a betting man. I would bet on number 4 coming up. Uh, it's going to come up twice as more times than any other number. Um, relative frequency of getting a number bigger than 3. So bigger than 3, it has to be 4, doesn't it? So that's 202 times out of how many is it all together. So I'll get calculated again. Uh, we've got 100 plus 95 plus 103 uh, plus the 202. And it's out of 500. Take down the calculator now, so 202 divided by the 500, and I've got 101 out of 250 is that relative frequency, 101 out of 250. Okay, so it's very similar to uh, the way probability works, um, you just count how many experiments. So on this one, probability of getting a 2 is uh, 1 out of the 8, uh, where on relative frequency it's uh, to, related to the number of times you've done something. Next page um, is this one. So we're looking at this table, uh, some factory or something's going on here. Uh, first question: What's the probability I've got less than um, ten, less than or equal to ten? So that's less than ten there. So it's these set here. So that's going to be twenty-nine equals twenty-nine out of thirteen and six is all less than ten. Anywhere not a five, and a five turns less than ten. And the total number is uh, 13 plus 16 plus 40 plus 20. Um, oh, that was 40. Delete, delete. 20 plus 11 out of 100. Okay. And that will be the end of that question. Um, because 29 uh, is prime number and doesn't go into 100. Uh, the next one is anywhere between 10 and 20. So between 10 and 20 is 40 out of 100. which equals uh, two-fifths, and you can just use your calculator to tell you that one. So if I just do 40 out of 100, let's do it different way, let's use the fraction button. So 40, oops, no, let's just set up a fraction first. 40 out of 100 
equals and then you go to two fifths. Okay. Right, the next one. If you purchase seven hundred, um, how many would you expect to last longer than ten hours? So longer than ten hours is this set here. So that's forty, um, sixty, seventy-one. So the probability that it's more than ten hours, more than ten. Uh, I'm getting as um, what was it? It was 40, 50, 60, 71 out of uh, the 100 that we had there. So if I want to know if I had 700, I need um, for every 100 I get 71. So if I've got 700, I've got seven seventy ones. So it's just seven times uh, 71, which equals um, well, it's going to be four nine seven, isn't it? And I just use a calculator to just check. Uh, 7 times 71. Okay, 497. Um, if I didn't realise that um, this was out of 100 and that was out of 700, all I would do is I would work out this fraction of that one. So 71, so I'll just do 700. Um, I would multiply by 71 and then just divide by 100. And I still get 497. So you take your fraction. Or whatever that is, or you probably whatever that is, and multiply by the number of times. Notice that this isn't a fraction um, because it says how many would you get, and you can get a fraction of an amount at this kitten for this scenario. Um, so 497 seems to be about right to me. And that's it. That's um, what was that one? That was relative frequencies. Okay, have fun.